morning, y'all. Good morning, guys. Today is December 15th. Welcome to Vlogmas. Ten more 15. days. Ten more days. Yeah. Wednesday the 15th. Um, tonight's church, but um, right now, this morning, the sun is coming up and um, it's 30, what was it, 32? 33. 33, 33 degrees outside. Light frost. It's going to be up to 56 today. So we're in the 50s, hanging in the 50s. Which is about normal for us right now. Yeah, I think it's going to bump 70 later this week. Saturday. Um, so again, gonna be, but it's going to rain. Gonna so rain. every day we hit 70, it's raining. So for Friday, it's going to be like 67 and sunshine. Yep. So, so we're behind on our socks. Oh, there's my socks. Being we're so too. behind. Look, <laughs> we don't even have any. I have a pair on. Yeah. Um. I can't meet my socks. I forgot to bring them over here. So I'm going to do two pairs. I don't know which one I'll end up wearing today, but I thought we got to get caught up. We've, so, we've been uh, so busy the past couple of days. We've been crazy. hustling over to the chicken houses. Oh, these are so adorable. What you got? Monday, we, we were over at like 5.30. Oh, the presents. Cute. The presents. I love those. Oh, All these. right, let me open my other pair. Well, we're past yeah. the 12 days of Christmas. No, actually, actually no. no. The 12 days of Christmas actually go Starts. after Christmas. They oh, go really? to January 6th oh, really? in the actual... Oh, to new Christmas. Old Christmas. Okay. <laughs> There's my other pair. And it's got a gift. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You're going to do socks and one brain teaser? Yeah, I'm going to do brain teaser first. All right, here, day number eight. Okay. And, and if you're just now starting to watch us, he does not go in order. He just... Picks whichever one he wants. Yeah, because he's a random guy. He is a random guy. Oh, it's the paper puzzle. You'll have to wait till night to do that one. All right. Word jig. jig. It's like a crossword Fit puzzle. Each of the festive words listed into the grid shown, each word can only be used once. That's hard. I can tell Show you them that. This ain't happening to this brother. I gotta take all those words right there. And find which spot they go in. Find and which it's spot. gotta measure equally. And it don't have a number? No, no number, no question. You want me to tell you what I'll be doing? Looking at the back. I'm looking at the back. <laughs> That's not a brain teaser. That's a uh, make you go crazy. <laughs> okay, you want socks or another brain teaser? I'll try it. Okay, I'll work on it later. Um, I'm doing another brain teaser. Another brain teaser, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'll, do, I'll do socks tomorrow. So we're doing two today. Um, we may have one extra. I don't know. We may do two tomorrow. Um, I've still got one, two, three. I've got four brain I, Who knows? Because Judah's... Judah likes my brain Moved them around. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. Number 10. Here we go. Oh, I like the ones that... Is, these are all cards. Christmas cars. riddles. Here we go. Okay, I like these. When you go to cut down a Christmas tree, how far can you walk... Wait, have you already done this one? I've already done this one. Did Judah turn it around? Hang on, let me see. Let me look at the next reel. I know that one. What? I, we've already done these. Judah has turned it around. That boy. That boy. <laughs> you may have to look in each of them. You know what? If I had went in order, I would have known. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because that's what some of you are thinking right now. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, it's another paper one. Another paper. It's Snowflake Sudoku. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Now, yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, I think I can do this one. Snowflake That's the answer. Sudoku. No, it's not the answer. You got to put Snowflake oh, yeah. in yeah, each. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, that was the answer. Yeah. That's cool. Then that would be fun. Yeah. I like Sudoku. Yeah. So till they, that's fun. Till they get to, like, level Oh, level yeah, four. I stay on the easy level. <laughs> she, she, she takes the easy one, so... All right, guys. Sorry, they they that that's kind of a bummer. Um, would be here for two hours if you on that other one waited on me to do those. So, yep. So anyway, we're gonna head to the farm. Guess what? No well driller yet. So those of you following, we've been waiting about almost four and a half weeks for the well driller. Um, we have called. A couple other drillers got on their list, and so whoever gets here first will get to drill our well. And so, not our well, Caroline, Caroline and, Jamie. and Jamie's well. But that uh, that's the hold up. Now, the house is down to just a few minor things. We could have it all knocked out potentially by 
this end of week, this week. This, end of this week, maybe the middle if of next we had week. The I mean, we're down to just small detail, <laughs> fine stuff, and uh, uh, I may get Leslie to take the camera over today. And um, why don't you? Why don't me and you take a shovel? <laughs> we I'm dig doing. our own well. <laughs> well. It's funny because somebody will call me and they say, "What you into, man?" I'll say, "I'm as busy as a one-armed well digger." That's one of the little quirks that I say. Little cliches. You know, because it's hard to dig with one arm. So that's pretty busy. Yeah, I couldn't dig far. I might get two scoops before I'm done. <laughs> Thank goodness for skid steers. And yep. So big anyway, that's that's an item of prayer. You guys pray that we get that well done. Uh, if you were on the live video the other night, you know, I'll give you a quick story real quick. Caroline and Jamie, they started grading last November, but it started raining so bad they had to stop grading. And the land stayed so wet, they did not grade it, get graded because until... Because it was in woods. Yeah, they didn't get graded until oh, uh, April. So the loaders set for December, January, February, March, and in April they finally got graded. Well, a construction loan is for 12 months, so they had to be done by November the 8th. Well, they didn't make that. So they got a free 60-day extension, and uh, their rates of their loan stayed locked at 3.125. And... Um, so that's why they have to be done by January the 8th. Well, this well driller, who knows when he's going to, that's the only thing holding this project up. Electrical is ready to finish. Plumbing is ready to finish. The only thing they need is this well dug so they can tap the water line to the house. And you t to get their inspections. And they, got, and they got to run power to the pump. And so those are the only thing the electrician and the plumber needs. And, um, and don't y'all see how frustrating that is? We are so close, so, and we just need one person to show up. <laughs> and what, what people don't understand, they think, well, you're going to lose your rates. Well, if if your rates go up a quarter percent on a $250,000 house, um, that's an extra, uh, it's extra $600 a year. It's extra $50 a month. $600 a year times 30 years is a lot of money. And so that's why I don't want to see those rates change. And that's why we're pushing as hard as we can to get in. And, and so, but the Lord's got this and we're going to trust in him because uh, we're his people and all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to and his And we purpose. can't see the big plan. Like back in November, we couldn't see the big plan. But had we graded then and been building, we would have been building in the height okay. of the lumber increases and all that. It began to tick down mm -hmm. and become... So, so the Lord was actually looking out for us. So we yes. know that he has a plan we can't see. Yep. So. So, just got to trust in But him. still it's frustrating. <laughs> yeah, lean not to your own understanding. And so that's what we're trying not to do. So anyway, thank you guys. We're going to go walk chickens. We're going to put them on a leash and walk them. Not really. And, uh, <laughs> we just walk down through them and make sure they're healthy she's and She's going to cook some things today. What you going to cook today? Uh, I'm going to do a new brickle video. Oh, really? You're not going to cough on these? No, I'm not going to cough on I didn't cough on the other ones. They couldn't see me turn my head. I don't know why they assumed I was coughing on them. But in anyway. The, in the original video, she coughed a little bit. That was pre-COVID, before COVID. Yeah, it, it wasn't and during COVID. It was way before COVID. So when people watch it now, they think she's got COVID. <laughs> so they, they don't look at the They don't look at the date it's when it was two uploaded. years old. So, but anyway. Three. Three. Okay. All right. So you're going to make some brickle. What else? Fudge. Fudge. Uh, pecan balls. Pecan balls. You don't like them. I don't like them. But Isaac has requested those. Isaac, why does he get his way? Because he's my baby. Yeah, a big baby. And he comes home today. Today. We thought he was home. coming home yesterday, but he's coming home today. He comes home today. So and um, and if his attitude's not good, he may go back today. <laughs> his attitude's gonna be great because he's missing home. Yeah, but he's not ready to work on the farm. He might be. He may be in the college mode still. That's you know okay. how those college kids are. They're. He's going to have to work because in, I got to get ready for the goody night and we in, sell chicken. So he's going to have to come home in a work mode. College kids can be entitled. Not all of them. Just our <laughs> Who is she? Believe? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, we got to go. We're rambling. So. Bye. We'll see you guys later on. Okay, y'all. Does the state of my hair tell you anything about today? I have done very little vlogging. I have not made the first goodie, which was my total plan for today was to make goodies. But after working at the farm, I have not felt. I was like, nothing's sick. I'm not sick. But, like, my back hurts. I just, um, I just feel yucky. And Isaac came home and, um, so I've just been hanging out with him.
I've been going over to check the project, the project. Yeah, the project. Caroline and Jamie's um, house. And they're putting the backsplash in the kitchen now. I mean, we are so close to the final little bitty details. If the well driller would just show up. Y'all, I am so frustrated. But, what do you do? So anyway, um, I mean, we're just about done with this house. And not a moment too soon. Because my sweet husband needs some rest. And we're going to be out of chickens soon. As of, not tomorrow, but the next day. We'll be out of chickens. And he could really use some rest. So, and it's right here at Christmas time. And I have so many goodies to make. But I just, I'm in the car just because I drove... I don't know why I drive. Well, I do know why I drive because I'm cold. And, um, but I just ran over. I, I didn't even leave our driveway. I ran up through the field <laughs> to Caroline's house and, um, checked. They wanted me to see the backsplash, um, so far. And it looks so good. I mean, it's so good. Um, so, um, I'm going to go in. I think I need to lay down just a little bit. And that is not normal coming for me. I don't ever lay down, but I'm just not feeling it. And I have church tonight. I don't know what's wrong with my back. It's my whole back. I don't know. It's weird. It's not like down low where I think it would be my kidneys or anything. It's the entire back. And it's, it's, it's almost like I'm having a flare up of the muscle thing. And it's just like extreme fatigue in my entire back. So we'll see. I don't know. We'll, um, I'm going to go in here and make a bowl of oatmeal and rest a little bit. We're here at church and this is part of the Christmas play set up. And I was looking and look at the name of the cafe. Oh, hold on. There's more. Let's go over here and see this one. Get down. Do not get on that furniture like that. The cozy coffee. A little taste of Christmas in every cup. It's after church and we're in the grocery store and look at these two race car drivers. Look at there. <laughs> and the big kid with them. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we've made it home from church, the grocery store. I've had Judabug. Um, Levi, his mom was at the grocery store, and she, we actually ran into her. So, I, we had Judah, and so then we just rolled them all around, both of them. And then, so Caroline came here and got Judah after I made him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that's unlike anybody else's. Okay, so tonight's coffee, what are we going to have? I keep forgetting to pop my little things out. Day 15, here we go. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Huh? I don't know. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Oh, yes. That's what I've always wanted. Caramel brownie. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Caramel brownie. Yeah, okay. well, oh, sorry. There you go. Do it right. Caramel brownie. Here we go. All right. I'll fix this and we'll see you on the couch. Okay, guys. While the coffee's perking, I thought I'd go ahead and we would try these tonight for you, too. Um... I'm going to stick these in the air fryer and we'll come in and chat with you for just a minute and then I'll come back and get these when they're done in the air fryer. The first one we're going to try is the Chesapeake style shrimp flatbread. Um, a scrumptious blend of herbs and spices mixed with shrimp, cream cheese, and a lightly toasted flatbread. Sounds heavenly to me. And of course, Spanakopita. I love Spanakopita and I especially like it because of the feta. I love feta cheese. Okay, so we're going to try these, and um, we'll see you in the den for coffee while these are cooking, and then we'll stop for a minute, and then we'll get the appetizers out and try them. Okay, y'all, we're here on the couch. And it's 1039. Yes, and I. All right. And that's good coffee. Good coffee. One bound is. And I just want you to know, y'all created a monster here. He drug out the guitar tonight. Drug it out. Just 
Dusty. I told him he could serenade y'all. She's going to sing. No, I don't feel like singing. Sing one song. This is really good. What are you going to sing? What song? I don't know. What if I don't know the words? Did y'all have a good day? <laughs> started. So tonight we're just going to try this Spanakopita because I didn't read the instructions and I got them a little brown, but it's okay for the Spanakopita, but the other one was a little too brown. So we'll try it tomorrow night. Um, now it's really hot. I did it in the air fryer. The directions say to do it in the oven. It's going to burn. Woo -woo. Did it burn? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hmm. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Could be store bought. Mm. Maybe. I look, think it's really good. Look it done. Well, that's my fault. Mm -hmm. I did it in the air fryer. Mm -hmm. And I think I should always do things a little less time in the air fryer. Yep, she should. Her middle name is Burnt Sacrifices. How'd you like that? That's really good though. That's really good. That's definitely worth definitely buying. Worth buying at Walmart. Sam's. Sam's. Walmart. Um. So it's really good. So if you need a dish on your table, that's a good one. Or if you're going to a Greek festival. <laughs> I don't know if she told you, but that's really good. It is really good. Um. How many times you said that? I don't know, but it's really good. Like five times. <laughs> um. So let's talk about our day. Let's talk about you and me. Don't finish that song. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> That's old. <laughs> um, we went to the farm. Worked a good little bit at the farm this morning. I need like something on my back. Two hours. No, I mean a it's pillow. My hand. It's a on pillow. Your, it's on your back. My hand. Um, and um, 
What else did we do? I just hadn't felt good today. I worked like a one arm wheel here. Yeah, and we went over and did some things over at Caroline's house, Jamie's house. Kevin was back and working and started the backsplash. Um, then we went to church and um, You sound like we didn't do nothing all day. No, I mean, we did. I came home and I was trying to cook a little bit, but I just wasn't feeling good. And so I haven't really done a whole, whole lot. But um, I've done a lot. He has. He has. I hadn't felt like I hadn't felt good today, so I hadn't done a lot. But um, chickens getting ready to go out. And she didn't film a lot today. I didn't film a lot today, mm -hmm. just because I wasn't feeling good. So there wasn't is, nothing to film. This is Vlogmas Day 15. Mm-hmm. Isaac came home today. That was a big thing. Isaac, so can I have some of that? Mm -hmm. Isaac, Isaac is at home. Guess what didn't come today? The whale driller. There's Caroline. Honey, we're trying to film here. <laughs> we're filming. Yes, we love you. We'll call you back. <laughs> you can talk to mom. Love to you. Mama. Bye. Um, Children. So anyway, <laughs> that was funny. Um, she said, y'all are filming at 11 o'clock at night. So that's all we did, really. Yeah. Oh, the well driller didn't come. Guess who didn't yeah, come? Yeah, he didn't come. Keep praying. Keep praying. Pray harder. Right now we're praying blessings. Tomorrow we're praying curses. <laughs> Um, um, we did get a little news from the financial side of things. Yeah, it don't how, look good. How much it's going to affect them if, yeah. if we don't get closed by the eighth? So, but anyway, we're so not, we're not going to believe that, and we're not going to. No, and we know God has a plan. He's got it all under control. That's right. He didn't bring them this far to let them fall. So, um. Well, I mentioned yesterday Bryant's favorite color, and a lot of you guessed, and we've answered a lot on the comments, but I don't know that we've got to them all or not, so we'll go ahead and tell you on this video that you're, are you looking for your favorite color? Yeah, I don't see it. Do you see it? Nope. His favorite color is yellow. 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 When we started dating, he had this t-shirt. It wasn't a t-shirt. Sweatshirt. No, you had a t-shirt when we first started dating. Oh, yeah, yeah. And. A Nike t-shirt. And didn't your nieces call you the big yellow bus? The big yellow school bus. <laughs> and um, so, but he loves yellow. I've never figured it out, but he loves yellow. I, I don't think of that color as being my, like, a favorite color, but I guess it can be. Because it's his. And it's my birthstone. Oh, yeah, it's mine too, but that don't mean it's my favorite color. <laughs> You're weird. And it's not, our birthstone is not a pretty yellow. It's my birthstone. Our birthstone is topaz. It's yellow. And, um, now I do like a pretty canary yellow. And a pretty pale yellow. But, um, but yeah, he likes yellow. My favorite color is what? It's my favorite color. Do you know? Green. Green. All shades. Green velour. Really like Christmas green. Like Ju jewel tone. Okay guys, sorry, my camera just shut off. So um hopefully it is fixed. But yes, my favorite color is green. His is yellow. Mm -hmm. Excuse me while I eat my supper. Yeah, don't eat because you crunch really loud. I'm sitting just saying they'll say something. <laughs> That's when I'm holding the camera. Oh, okay. All right. And I'm eating Pringles. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyway, so I'll sit back here. Our day was just, um, it was just kind of a, I, it was a blah day for me because I haven't felt good. I worked on the backsplash. Oh yeah, With the Kevin. backsplash is beautiful. <clears throat> Let me, at the end of this, I'll show you a clip. After the thank you for watching, I'll add a clip at the end of, now we don't have it grouted yet. It's just the backsplash up there and you'll see these little orange things. That's the spacers in between, but at least you'll get a good idea. So, 
Um, went back to the grocery store to get a few things that I needed because I thought I had and I didn't have. And what were you gonna cook today? Oh yeah, I was gonna cook fudge. I was gonna make brickle. Um, I was gonna make pecan balls, and I didn't get anything made because I just felt that crummy. Guess what she made today? A mess. I did make a mess. In the but, kitchen. But I was trying to cook, and then I just couldn't do it. So I, she's on strike. I, she's on strike. I'm not on strike. I don't. How often do I not feel good? That happens very rarely. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, back a while, it used to happen a lot, but. Um, I've been very, very healthy here this past year. Down how many pounds? Down 33 pounds. 33 pounds. Whoop, whoop. And, um, but yeah, the, I'm, the pain I'm having is in my upper back. Oh, it's not really a pain. It's weird. It's, it's like a week and it's just, it's kind of a pain. <laughs> it's a pain, but, um, it, it's just weird. So, um. I've just kind of sat around most of the day and then would ride over to Caroline's house to see what they were doing. I did go to lunch with them. Did go to lunch with them. Yep. And um, so anyway, you want to add anything? Nope. Been a good day. He's enjoying his trail mix. Uh, anyway. That Miss Bridget sent. Mm -hmm. That's what he's eating, Bridget. He's eating your trail mix. I'm actually it's eating actually, babies. no, you're eating Isaac's. He's already finished his and now he's into Isaac's. That's got your sesame things mm -hmm. in it. I really do. Mm -hmm. Sunflower seeds. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. really good. Hmm. Sorry, I'm crunching. <laughs> She's crunching. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the peppermint pretzel clusters I made. And now he's not a peppermint guy. Nope. But Caroline is, and I am, and she loved him, and I loved him. Um. It, the pretzel in it just gives it a, a salty surprise. I didn't hate him. It just wasn't my favorite. Yeah, he. It's just, I mean, he ate it. He ate. Kept <coughs> it at him. Um, what? Oh, the the ate the beef Mongolia beef's coming up soon. So that was really that good. Tomorrow? That'll probably go up tomorrow. It was really good. Really good. And the cinnamon pecans were really good. And then soon coming up is the brickle. And I probably won't film the fudge. Um, but the brickle, um, maybe, the, maybe the pecan balls. You need to do fudge. I've done one fudge. Well, I've done one brickle too. <laughs> the reason I'm doing the, re the brickle is because I was sick when I did the first one. So. We told them that last night. Yeah. Anyway. All right, guys. I'm rambling again. It's just what I do late at night. So hey, we will. Do y'all know what Arnold Schwarzenegger told his girlfriend, his mistress? I'll be back. <laughs> so All right, guys. Guess what? We'll, we'll be, be back. back tomorrow. So we will see you. Thank you for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Hope you have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you, you can, can fry, fry anything. anything. Bye, y'all.